Today we will prove the following claim that 1 times 1 factorial plus 2 times 2 factorial plus etc up to n times n factorial is equal to n plus 1 factorial minus 1 for every natural number. Since the claim is for all natural numbers we will proceed by induction. So let's start off by telling our reader that we will proceed by induction. So what's the first stage of a, an, an induction proof? Of course it would be the base case. So in this case, since it's over all natural numbers, our base case would be for n equals 1. So I'm going to write a little reminder to myself here that I'm going to be doing n equals 1. So if we do an n equals 1 case, on the left hand side we have only one element, right, because we go up to 1 times 1 factorial. 1 times 1 factorial, of course, is 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. And on the right-hand side, we have... So on the right-hand side, we have 1 plus 1 factorial subtracted by 1, because I'm replacing the n with the 1. 1 plus 1 is, of course, 2, so that's 2 factorial minus 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 1, and that is 1. So notice that we have verified on the left hand side we have 1 and on the right hand side we have 1 and so that completes the proof of the base case. Second stage. Second stage is the antecedent to the inductive hypo or the inductive step. So I like to call that the inductive hypothesis. The inductive hypothesis is what we're going to assume and effectively what we're doing there is assuming it, it is true in some case k and we know that it's true in the first case. So in the inductive hypothesis, we're going to say, suppose that, and then we're going to say 1 times 1 factorial plus 2 times 2 factorial plus etc. up to k times k factorial, we're going to assume that that's equal to k plus 1 factorial minus 1 for some k in the natural numbers. We're not assuming it's true for all k because that would be the thing we're trying to prove. We don't want to assume what we're trying to prove here. So our inductive hypothesis is just to say that it's true in some case. Okay, if we have the inductive hypothesis then we can call upon that in the conclusion, the inductive step hopefully, and the inductive step would be to consider the expression with a k plus 1 replaced for k. So I go 1 times 1 factorial plus 2 times 2 factorial plus etc up to k times k factorial but then on the tippy end of this I'm going to add on plus k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial and I'm going to hope that I can manipulate this into something that looks a lot like the claim. So notice that in the first stage, I'm going to take all the first k terms here, which are the 1 times 1 factorial through k times k factorial, and due to the inductive hypothesis, I know that we're presuming that that's equal to k plus 1 factorial minus 1. So this is supposedly equal to k plus 1 factorial minus 1. That's not the entire thing, though. Notice that we still have this part on the end, so we still have plus a k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial. Well, what is this equal to? Well, notice here is a k plus 1 factorial, here is a k plus 1 factorial, so we can factor out that common k plus 1 factorial, and we'll take that minus 1 here, stick it on the end, and what do we have left when we pulled out the k plus 1 factorial from the other pieces? Well, from here, k plus 1 factorial leaves us with 1. The minus 1 was moved over to the end over here. So we have a plus, and then we have a k plus 1 times k plus 1 factorial, but I factored out the k plus 1 factorial, so I really just have a k plus 1. Notice that this 1 plus k plus 1 is the same as just saying k plus 2 multiplied against k plus 1 factorial minus 1 and if you take k plus 1 factorial and just multiply by k plus 2 then you get k plus 2 factorial 
minus 1. And just for completeness here, notice that this is the same as the statement that we had, k plus 1 plus 1 factorial minus 1. So in other words, it's just like the initial statement all the way at the beginning, but with the n replaced with a k plus 1. So therefore, we get to conclude one more slide over here. Our conclusion is by meth induction, by the principle, the principle of mathematical induction, of mathematical induction, we conclude exactly what we wanted to show. We conclude that 1 times 1 factorial plus 2 times 2 factorial plus etc up to n times n factorial is precisely equal to n plus 1 factorial minus 1 for all natural numbers.